Hey guys, in this video, we are going to take a look at the MyUI 4.0 port, which is based on Android 12 for our Motorola H20 Pro. So without wasting more time, let's start. So guys, this is Motorola's MyUI 4.0, not much different from the stock Motorola OS, but yeah, some UI changes are there. So let's talk about that. Now, first we will go into the about phone options. Uh, as you can see in the about phone, it will display a huge uh, my UI uh, thing and here you can, okay, it's not showing RAM, it will show and it, uh, we also got 3GB RAM boost. So it has been already enabled and then we have Android 12. Let's move down here into Android version 12. As you can see, we also got the October, the latest security patch and this update just came today. So yeah, that's nice. So guys, let's check the features and customizable options we have in this ROM. Let's go into settings here and everything is same. Like you can see in the battery, we have optimized charging, overcharge protection. These features are also already here. And into display, we have some uh, changes here. Uh, we have display refresh rate, just normal 144 hertz, flicker prevention, everything is fine. Into peak display, I really love this uh, one addition here into going to wake display. You have options now to wake display by tapping the display and moving the phone. You can disable and enable them. Now in our Motorola H20 Pro, you have both these enabled. So if you even move the phone a little bit, the uh, display will just, uh, you know, the, uh, what you call that, uh, the peak display will just rise up. But here you just have to tap and this rises up. So this is really a nice uh, feature or an addition to the uh, this port so that's really nice then yeah other things are really uh, just you know the basic three finger screenshot and all that we also have edge lights and it gives a nice edge light effect on our device too but yeah you won't be able to see that if you place the device downwards so yeah that's how it works for your device then we have into home screen and lock screen home settings these are the launcher settings and you can just uh, you know you can just configure here just some basic settings some additions here then status bar you also have internet speed notification icons and also you can customize system icons what and what not you want then moving towards the quick setting style we have the new modern style quick settings from the left side you open notifications from the right side you open all the quick settings toggles options and as you can see we also have a media player here and uh, uh, mobile data the all the bluetooth and all connectivity options are in here and you can also disable the connectivity via airplane mode and then we have all the other options extra dim dark uh, dark theme then do not disturb hotspot other stuff here we also have a power menu here so you can just use it to avoid using the power button and if you switch to classic style you get the classic uh, android 12 quick setting toggle too moving back screen timeout just the basic uh, stuff going down here uh, we have system updates but you cannot update this because this is a custom port rom so yeah just make sure uh, then we have performance and here as you can see quick launch is already uh, just enabled and ram boost is also enabled so we get extra 3 gb of additional ram and then video call effects is also here and if we go down here we have developer options enabled you can just customize some stuff if you want into system uh, sorry uh, let's go back uh, okay into gestures which I missed we have the wake display uh, shortcut here too so you can just directly move in here and we have other uh, options which are same now the power touch does not work if I enable this just gets back and it doesn't work so this is only the one feature it doesn't work and if I disable it the power touch uh, just stops working so yeah other stuff is just the same and these are the options present in the MyUI 4.0 port. So guys, uh, this ROM is fully stable now. This is the version 3 and we also have some additions here which you can use through Magisk module. Also for the camera, I'm using Gcam and also have the Moto camera. So for the Moto camera, you have to flash the Moto uh, camera Magisk module. So this is the Moto camera. We get the stock camera, the H20 Pro camera. And also you have to update the app, the Moto camera app via an APK. So I will leave all the links below in the description and all the instructions below the installation and all the stuff. And you can easily flash and also routing process is easy. I will leave a magic patch boot image in the description. Just flash it through fast boot and then you have to 
just uh, easily uh, install magisk and just use that so yeah that is how easy it is and yeah that is it for these are the uh, stuff the customization stuff normal stable but really nice it's really smooth and stock and gives a really awesome battery life i'll show you my graph it's a bit uh, disturbed the graph is as you can see uh, one day 22 hours and i just charge it twice uh, for some stuff and here as you can screen on time 14 hours and i roughly get in a like zero 100 to zero i get seven and seven and a half hours and which is really nice and on stock i used to get only five to five and a half hours which is really a big part i don't know why custom rom this rom exactly same motorola os ui and it's giving i don't know a better performance so yeah just i'm just going to prefer this one until the uh, motorola fixes the h20 pros uh, stuff so yeah now we are going to move into uh, the installation stuff and the installation stuff is important for that installing a custom rom you have to unlock your bootloader first and guys here there's a twist i'm not going to show you how to unlock the bootloader through the video i will just leave a link down below in the description so yeah you have to follow that link i don't have any option because i cannot unlock the bootloader again and show you how to unlock or i have i could have been already uh, made a video so yes before you go uh, just begin with uh, unlocking the bootloader of your motorola h20 pro and rooting it just make sure you are going to risk your warranty for that so if you are like okay and you want to go ahead then do it i will leave the link in the description how to unlock the device it's easy you will get an access code uh, unlock code from motorola for that you have to use cmd everything is easily explained so you can easily go to that website and just go and also if you have any failures with it you also have the rescue and smart assistant which will easily uh, install your firmware on your device so there's no need to worry but yeah i can show you right now or i would have made an another video on that but yeah in uh, future if i find that locking the bootloader is an easy process then i will make a video unlocking and locking at the same time so that it will be a really nice one but for now that is it let's uh, go with the flashing process so guys before beginning with the installation i forgot to show you one feature which is moto dolby and you have to flash it via magisk module so you can use guys some flash magisk modules easily i will also leave uh, some extra uh, description in the comments uh, sorry in the description box so yeah make sure you check that out and it works really fine with the moto cam too so now for the installation you have to download the uh, uh, custom rom zip and magisk and other stuff too but now like directly you need to custom rom installation now first you have to boot your device into the fast boot mode so for that you have to open cmd go to the directory where the oh i'm so sorry go to the directory where uh, you have extracted the custom rom zip now this zip is not a flashable tlrp you have to flash it using the uh, fast boot now first you have to input fast boot devices okay oh sorry you have to reboot your device into recovery so adb reboot bootloader and your device will uh, reboot into bootloader mode and as you can see it did and this is the bootloader mode keep your device aside now you do not need the cmd i was joking now you have to just open this batch file the windows batch file flash talk and you just have to run it and as you can see uh, okay i will just get this in the middle now let this script run this will take a while because it has to install all those zips now this will again reboot into system after some uh, images has been flashed just uh, wait for it to reboot don't worry about that as you can see this is the message you get after unlocking the bootloader 
and there are some issues regarding locking so if i find a proper uh, procedure to lock the device safely now as you can see this will uh, continue the flashing process and this fast boot d so yeah just uh, keep your device aside until the process has been finished so i'm going to skip this step because i don't want to waste some time so guys the installation got finished and i don't know why the cmd window just automatically closed down i think it was just that script and my device has also started rebooting as you can see the sound so i'll show you the setup to go to this is the hello moto yeah hello so i'll show you the setup and end the video yeah and guys here we go we have been booted into the system and now we can set up and enjoy my ui 4.0 port on your motorola h20 pro and honestly i don't know from which device it is imported but yeah it will show your device is motorola h20 ultra so i guess this is from the h30 ultra which has been renamed to h20 ultra so yeah that is it for the video and if you want to flash magisk i will put down the magisk patch boot image down below in the description the line uh, sorry the links and I will also input the fast boot command line which is fast boot flash boot magisk patch boot into the description so just read carefully and install it easily and that is it for the video if you guys really like the video but the motorola h20 pro custom rom please give it a like if not the dislike is also appreciated and you can post your comments down below in the comment box and just follow everything in the description and sorry guys i cannot give you the bootloader unlocking tool uh, unlocking uh, uh, guide sorry not tool the bootloader unlocking guide so yep if i find a really easy way to unlock and lock the bootloader i will show you in, in another video i will just make a combined video of them both so that's it guys bye bye take care and see you guys in, in another video bye bye